S Q U E A K S. Just to show up. Squeaks the cat. It's to show up. Squeaks the cat. People. Hey there, fools. Mr. T here um, with another video. Uh, this one will be talking about some things I want to do coming up. Um, a while back, I started the. Uh, uh, what was it? The uh, General Ass Hurt <laughs> Weekly Report, and it was just uh, a video that I wanted to to do every week, uh, just talking about you know gaming news for the week and keep that stuff uh, in a video for you guys every week, my thoughts and stuff. Um, but the problem is that uh, the weekly report, the way I did it, it was very intensive, you know, as far as filming and editing and all that stuff. And there was just no way I could have put one out uh, every week uh, in that style. And uh, if I wasn't going to do it that way, I didn't want to do it. So, but I decided to do just that, just without the uh, flash and flare of the, the uh, you know, general ass hurt thing. And just do a weekly report. And uh, hopefully, uh, with those weekly reports, be able to add in... Uh, uh, comments of the week and um, I'm gonna go ahead and start you know that tradition here um, at the end of this video but first I want to talk about some you know week uh, news from the week as we all know Platonic uh, dropped their uh, pre-e3 trailer for ukulele and it looked awesome um, talked about it in uh, Juice's Loose podcast shout out to Terminator Juice and the boys, um, uh, Rob will rule it to review, uh, gaming with me, Robert, and of course, Terrell, the insane game freak. Um, you can check us out every week on Mondays on Juice is Loose uh, podcast, uh, 7 p.m. roughly. <laughs> we try to start on time, we usually don't, but it'll be, you know, it's in, it's in, you know, the first few minutes of Know, the seven o'clock hour so um check us out there um i think the next one will actually be tuesday because we're we're waiting for uh, nintendo z3 and all that stuff to be revealed uh, like i said ukulele trailer looks amazing um i am a backer of ukulele i think i did a video i can't remember if i did a video talking about that but um playtonic obviously ex-members of core rare teams uh, that worked on Donkey Kong Country, Trop or not Tropical Freeze, Donkey Kong Country, uh, um, Super Nintendo, Banjo Kazooie and Tui, um, I think some guys from Perfect Dark, and uh, uh, GoldenEye as well. Um, and you got composers like David Wise and uh, Grant Kokert. I think I said his name right. I might have screwed it up. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Um, doing the doing the uh, soundtrack, um, it's it's you know listening to it, listening to the trailer music, listening to the sound effects. It was just right at home. Uh, it took me right back to N64 days with the 3D platform and collectathons, which I love. So I'm glad to see that it, those are coming back in a big way. I'm just happy to have 3D platformers, um, you know, be a thing again, even if it is on the indie level. Hopefully that'll spill over into um, you know, the big, the big companies, when they see success, hopefully we'll get a lot of success. I, I'm sure ukulele, if it comes out and it's a great game, which I believe it will be, um, it's going to be successful and hopefully that'll open the eyes of, uh, the smaller or the bigger companies to let their teams do stuff like that. Cause we want that. So like I said, it was great to see, um, the trailer, it, the world looks lush. A very gameplay. Um, I'm still picking it apart. Stuff that I didn't see the first five times I watched it. I've watched it like eight or nine times now. I'm going to watch it again. Uh, maybe do an analysis. I'm thinking about doing that kind of stuff too. Analysis video. A lot of things are coming to the channel. And I just want to put that out there. Um, uh, some nice surprises. Um, I'm working on some pretty funny videos coming up here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, you will be able to find out what happened in the Mizzity B Team um, Squeaks the Cat saga. <laughs> um, how that ended or begins, if you will. Uh, so that stuff's coming. I'm in the middle of shooting a film right now. 
uh, in my spare time, which isn't a lot of time, but it's taking a lot of time right now. And uh, so I'm doing that, um, shooting my second feature film uh, that I wrote and I'm directing it. And uh, it's probably my best so far. I'm really, really proud of the work we're doing and what we're putting together. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, shout out to my team members who are maybe listening. Um, you guys are doing great. And uh, so yeah, that's taking up a lot of my time, but really cool things are coming to the channel. Um, I'm gonna beef it up. Um, it's time to go in and uh, make a pretty good channel here. Like I've, I've always wanted to do, I just haven't had the time. And I still don't really have the time, but I'm getting better at uh, managing my time. So yeah, be looking out for cool stuff from the show coming up in the next month or so. Um, yeah, so uh, like I said, uh, let's go ahead and get to um, the comment of the week. Actually, I'm gonna do two comments because I had some pretty good stuff uh, from a couple of uh, my longtime subscribers. Um, I'm a little unprepared for this, sadly, um, to some degree. I believe both of these comments came from uh, my follow-up video to my Nintendo Innovation video, and that is the one that Nintendo, I think is Nintendo uh, Definitive uh, Failures something like that and um, so I took a couple of uh, really good comments from um, actually this one is or these are from uh, my lack of imagination that's the one it's the lack of imagination videos um, and I'm gonna put uh, a little you know graphic up on screen uh, I, I screen cap the uh, the comments themselves so the first one is by uh, Alchemist, YouTube user Alchemist, um, and, and he's basically answering or uh, making his point on my point about gamers lack an imagination today. And so let me read his comment. Uh, gamers lack imagination because the majority of them aren't kids anymore. If you're focusing on your marketing, or if you're focusing your market towards kids, then developers developers will go wild with imagination. Adults overtook um, the kids' toys for themselves, so kids have to move to smartphones. And I think that's a really good point. Um, I say that gamers today lack imagination, but that's coming from a perspective of me being younger and having grown up with some of this stuff. And the fact that uh, video game, you know, they're catering to uh, mostly the adult crowd. At this point um, and I don't just mean like uh, making a kids games versus adult games I just meant like the imagination of you know making video games um, it's lacking when you're catering to you know boring adults <laughs> you know uh, there's no other way to put it and I think that's what Alchemist is saying here uh, the games imagination have fell off because the imagination of the the crowd that it that 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 they're you know they're being catered to is lacking. So that is a to me that's a great point. I didn't even think about that. And uh, so yeah, shout out to him, Alchemist. Um, that was a great comment. But I think my comment of the week, uh, the the crowning comment, if you will, came from my longtime subscriber Retro Death. Um, big supporter of mine uh been on uh, a subscriber for quite some time always you know drops knowledge um he's a very passionate guy love that about him so uh let me go ahead and read his comment great comment it was on the same video um and this is actually the comment that made me want to do this segment because it made me realize yeah a lot of guys make some really good comments and uh uh i want to put them out there um, and giving them credit for it and uh, you know it'll also be a way for me to you know interact more with this, this, uh, my subscribers and uh, have more content you know more stuff to talk about and make it more interactive so 
Uh, let me go ahead and read Retro Death's comment here. It's great. Uh, most gamers these days don't even really care about the fun anymore. Uh, the thoughts behind everything, the anticipation. They want all their games now and fast. They are in a hurry instead of being patient. They have demands instead of ex instead of expectations. And when that game is finally there, uh, which will always be too late for them, they want to be the first to finish it. Show that off and claim first and then quickly move on to the next thing, just as impatiently. Uh, they don't live gaming anymore. They just breeze through it. Um, it's not a hobby anymore to them. Just a pastime until something more popular comes along. Everything that is not great graphics is gimmicky and useless. Everything needs to be the absolute best or else they don't care. You are going to love the video I'm currently working on, T. <laughs> um, I don't know if that video is up at the time of me posting this. I'm going to go check and make sure, sure I don't miss it um, because my feed is ridiculous. Um, I need to unsubscribe some stuff because I, uh, I it just clogs up my subscriber feed or my subscription feed and I never watch the video and I end up miss missing the video that I do want to watch. Um, I definitely want to see that one coming from Retro Death that probably inspired this uh, this comment here. So, great comment, Retro Death. Uh, very insightful. I agree with you 100%. Um, and, you know, sites and things like YouTube just, you know, makes, makes that stuff exponentially more apparent. Uh, the way guys treat their games and gaming and uh you're on point with that one man so comment of the week goes to retro death shout out to him go subscribe to retro death he has varied uh content uh, mostly gaming stuff um but he's a real cool guy and uh he gets the comment of the week and uh so yeah like i said this is going to be a, a weekly thing it won't be that i'll be doing um I'm going to try to get them out Sunday, Monday at the latest and uh, just to cover the weekly news and to drop a you know comment. I don't know if a comment, you know, a comment of the week will be there every week. But um, unless you guys start, you know, trying to make <laughs> really good comments now that I'm doing this. So that would be great. Go ahead and do that. Um, I'd like to have a comment of the week every week. So, yeah. Uh, so be looking forward to that. And that is uh, basically the. You know, news for the week for me. From me, um, be looking out for my Zelda video. Um, I'm doing doing a video on Zelda before the information comes out. The the hype, my hype video. I've been wanting to do for a while, just haven't had time. Like I said, so look out for that. And uh, that's it for this one. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo fools. Liberty Show.